MotoGP is finally back after a five week summer break and we are going to be talking about, you guessed it, 2024 already and some developments that I seen and maybe some of you seen as well. The video that Stefan Brodel put up on his story last week when having a private test with Honda. If you paused the video at the exact moment as he passed, you would have noticed that the Honda that he was riding looks very similar to a KTM slash Ducati in terms of aero packages, which leads me to believe that this is either an upgrade for the 2023 season, they can bring one firing change, or this is the development bike for the 2024 season. There was a different look to the Honda, I've, it's quite hard to see the image as it is quite blurry, it's the best quality that I could get, but it looks like they're going for that ground effect firing on the side as well, with the winglets at the back. It looks very similar to what we've seen from Ducati and KTM. However, is it going to solve their problems? I don't think so, because as we've discussed many times, the issue with Honda is that they seem to just put on these aerodynamic packages on their bike. They don't actually incorporate it into the bike. They just kind of stick it on, hope it works. But when you look at KTM and Ducati, they actually mold their package as such and incorporate it to work with the engine. And Honda's engine is the big problem. The electronics and the way the engine works, it's so overly aggressive. That isn't gonna solve their problems if they just bolt on a new aerodynamic package and hope that it works. MotoGP doesn't work like that anymore. It might have done in 2016, 17 and 18 where you could just change the fairing and you got some gains. But now these things are so dependent on the aero and the engine and the ride height device and everything else working in tandem and I don't think that Honda have got that yet. If they can sort the engine out, which I imagine is a big request from their riders, you know, Mark Marquez, Duan Mir, Alex Rins, I can imagine it will be somewhat more competitive. But is it really the answer to start copying what Ducati and KTM have done if you're not going to improve you know, the core of the bike? It's really hard to say and is it the bike that's going to keep Mark Marquez with Honda? It is so difficult to put an answer on this. We'll wait for the Mizano test because I believe that is where we'll see that bike that we've seen in this image rolled out for the first time to the public as such. I'm starting to get the impression that Mark will stay for 2024 and then leave at the end of that because there is frankly there's no options for him to actually leave Honda and go somewhere else for 2024 as all the seats are pretty much taken. Interesting to see how this works with Honda. I think that philosophy, you know, you've got some very, very good and unbelievably smart engineers at Honda. You know, they're maybe unsure if Mark Marquez is going to leave and they don't know if he's going to stay and maybe their heads aren't in it. I don't know. It's very difficult to say, but the bike looks very different compared to what we've seen this year. Interested to see how it actually goes when we see it for the first time, which will probably be the Mizano test. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is the solution to Honda's problems? Love to hear your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe to Crash Motor GP for more content, and we will see you next time.